Transformer Double Spy from a supercar. He can transform into a heroic Autobot or an evil Decepticon. Now discover the clones. Decepticon clones look identical, but one transforms into a Puma, the other into a Hawk. To fight Autobot clones, one of these twins transforms into a Jet, the other a Dragster. Now collect over 50 Transformers decoys, free in specially marked packages. Okay, so that was the Double Spies. Um, obviously another spy related thing in regard to being able to disguise yourself as either a Decepticon or an Autobot even if you're not one uh, something that they did uh, back in the original series but obviously they're expanding upon it further with a little bit more of a design rather than like old the simple like tiny bots like instead it's just like oh we can actually have figures and like they had 50 different versions at the time which was a big deal of course i mean 50 different versions that helps a lot because now it's not just like oh we're gonna have the same one figure that like every kid's gonna get like no we can have 50 why not like seriously you why can't you have more than one variation of that like it's so simple so yeah of course and i'm sure that that did well obviously due to the fact that it was like only one i mean well it, it's either not gonna sell at all or it's gonna sell so clearly it sold anyway that was the double spies um further expanding upon the spy concept that they already had and uh really uh increasing the uh cu curiosity of fans of what they could possibly do with the transformers and how to further expand the, the overall idea and just overall a really cool thing so anyway guys let's keep going the crash into a tank no it's not they're going to transform into one robot Introducing Duocons, Decepticon 2-in-1s. They think they're twice as tough as any Autobot, and maybe they are. The but they haven't met the Throttlebots yet. Now collect over 50 Transformers decoys, free in specially marked packages. So that was the Transformers Dual Cons, obviously, an inspir obviously one of the earlier adaptations of what would eventually become uh, Combiner Wars, I guess you could say. Uh, in a sense, obviously in this case it's more like they, they combine, like there isn't a smaller version of them, but the overall idea is kind of like a combination idea based off of like Combiner Wars, um, which is the future of that whole entire aspect. Interesting how that's how it kind of started, I guess you could, you could say, but um, really cool overall. So anyway, uh, let's keep going. Only the aerial bots have this kind of teamwork. The Transformers, sold separately from Hasbro. So that was the uh, Aerial Bots, as well as Superion and Manosaur, very, very significant characters, obviously, in the Superior, obviously, you know, in regard to the Combiner Wars universe today, um, but big characters back then, huge, huge, significant characters, obviously, uh, part of the reason why the Combiner Wars exists today obviously and one of the reasons why that's like such a big thing today um really just awesome awesome um uh, figures <coughs> of the early stuff especially just really cool just to think that that's where things started um the aerial bots really really nice concept uh early idea obviously uh something very significant if you know uh, the Decepticon concept a lot of the Decepticons early on were typically almost always um based on airplanes or helicopters compared to today where it's a where it's a mix where some of them are helicopter based and others are definitely playing out you know cars or something else but uh really cool regardless so yep let's keep going Thank you. 
a transformer sold separately from Hasbro. Okay, so the, first of all, there was a, that, that one commercial at first that. <coughs> that um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, that looked like a, a commercial for something. Um, <coughs> something wasn't working there for the audio, but um, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, but regardless. Uh, the other commercial was this one for the Predacons and the Predaking as well as for the Dinobots. Uh, interesting, of course, significant, significant, very much so. Uh, the Predacons, definitely important characters as well as the Dinobots. Dinobots always uh, have been um, pretty important. Uh, more so in like some of the majors, like obviously Energon, Armada, and that kind of stuff, like you're not gonna see much uh, Dinobots, but uh, if you're talking about like, oh, I don't know, the recent stuff, or even uh, the the, uh, the G1, obviously, uh, Dinobots, very significant. Predacons, some series definitely have an emphasis on Predacons. Not always, though, but definitely there. So, yeah, very cool. The Decepticons are attacking! Destroy them! No, wait, it's Quick Switch! Six shots done, and he's on our side! Determined to make good, whereas Decepticon father went bad, Quick Switch joins the Autobots. Quick Switch is faster and tougher. He's a tank, a plane, a cruiser, a gun, a puma, and a robot. Quick Switch, the new ultimate challenge. All right, that was Quick Switch. Um, interesting uh, Autobot, uh, one that has a pretty interesting idea story based around him that apparently he was original his father was someone that was evil and uh, um and obviously decepticon but in this case he, uh quick switch wanted to be on the side of good uh quick switch in this case has six different modes a uh, whole bunch of different things one of them is like a gun mode one of them is uh via, there's several different variations and he's able to, to sh shift into so many different forms uh, pretty significant, obviously. Big, big deal. Definitely one that, like, if you wanted a figure back then, Quick Switch would definitely be up there. I would say that Quick Switch is definitely a very cool figure just because, like, he had so many different modes that it's like, there's so much play value in that. Because, I mean, the original stuff was great, but, like, that would be up there just because of the fact that there were so many different modes that you could transform it into. And there was an interesting backstory as well. Um, a backstory that really could have applied to really any character if they wanted to change someone their story elements because it's something that's so simple but it's always a, a, a good idea to have a character that has that kind of background where their father was evil and they turn good and, or, or, and they want to show that they'll be better than, their, than, than a parent or someone um, who they look up to and uh, interesting so yeah 